Hello and welcome to Afri's Concept TV, where we give you the latest news, gist and updates. To all our subscribers and listeners, we say thank you for always listening to us. Kindly please help us tell your friends and families to also subscribe to Afri's Concept TV to get all the latest news in Nigeria. And also, if you are just tuning in, thank you for joining us. Please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, turn on your notification post so you'll be the first to get the news whenever we upload them. Thank you. And now to the news of today. The headline. Nagote reveals why no economic growth will happen in Nigeria under Tinubu's government. <coughs> now to the main news. Aliko Dangote, the chairman of the Dangote Group, has revealed why Nigeria won't see economic growth under President Bola Tinubu. Speaking at the 2024 summit of the Manufacturer Association of Nigeria, MAN, in Abuja, Dangote said no economic growth will happen unless the current 30% bank interest rate is reduced. Dangote, Africa's richest man and prominent businessman, stated that the high interest rate is hindering economic growth. He compared the situation to advanced economies like Europe and the US where interest rate hikes were a response to inflation caused by massive cash transfer programs during the COVID-19 pandemic. Dangote noted that African countries, including Nigeria, did not implement similar cash transfer programs, so they faced different economic challenges. He argued that the current high interest rates in Nigeria prevent job creation and economic growth. Mr. Vice President, I know that today we are battling with very high interest rates. This interest rate is now saying that we should fight inflation. I am not an economist. I am just the local businessman, said Dangote. He explained, the other countries, why did they jack up interest rates during COVID-19? The G7 countries pumped money into their economies to the tune of 18.9 trillion. So in their economies, there was so much money chasing few goods. This means that everything is going to go up. During COVID, we didn't do anything at all. The only thing we did was food palliative, and I'm talking about Africa in general. As a result, African countries did not experience the same inflationary pressures stemming from excess liquidity, but they are now facing other economic challenges. Speaking about Nigeria's current high interest rates, Dangote stated that it is responsible for economic stagnation. Right now, at 30%, there is no way anybody can create jobs because we are actually stifling growth. So interest rates can remain at 30%, but no growth will happen unless that interest rate comes down, he asserted. We must look to leading countries in the West and the East who are actively protecting their domestic industries. Dangote also criticized Nigeria's dependence on imports, saying it hinders industrial growth and leads to poverty and job losses. He said, import dependence is equivalent to importing poverty and exporting jobs. No power, no growth, no prosperity. Similarly, no affordable financing, no growth, no prosperity. There is no industrialization without protection. Ignoring these facts is what gives rise to insecurity, banditry, kidnapping, and abject poverty. He called for better protection of local industries and highlighted the need for affordable financing to drive growth 
work and prosperity. Dangote pointed out that successful countries often protect and promote their local industries, despite advocating for free trade. He emphasized that strong local investment is crucial for attracting foreign direct investment, using examples from the West, China, and India. Dangote stressed that Nigeria has the potential to develop a competitive manufacturing sector and called for a rethinking of the country's industrialization policy, drawing lessons from leading Western and Eastern countries. Lastly, he mentioned that the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has raised interest rates from 18.75 to 26.25% over three consecutive Monetary Policy Committee, MPC, meetings contributing to the current economic challenges. Kanye Daily recalls that Aliko Dangote previously said the biggest mess created for net businesses in 2023 was devaluation of Naira. Mm. So he's saying that until Mr. President Bola Tunabo leaves after spending four years or probably eight years, that is when economic growth will happen in Nigeria. I don't know if our president actually reads the news and he has read everything that um, Dangote said here, and he would actually take actions to reducing the interest rate because the interest rate has really cost loss of job opportunities. Nobody is willing to hire anybody. There, there are no jobs in Nigeria. How much How much is even the minimum wage to even start with? It just keeps creating abject poverty in the country. There is no job, no food. Everything is just getting hard. So if the interest rates can be reduced, just like Dangote has suggested here, it would definitely be of great help. I hope they actually work on it. My listeners, what do you think? Kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe, to like, to share our content. Thank you for always listening to us.